Lucy, how are you doing today? You guys are excited to see the studio this morning. Big assessment on Friday, isn't it? 20% of your final mark. Are you guys gonna storm it? Well, I've always liked studio and that, but with the others, it's just difficult and sort of... Yeah, see, that's the thing about a collaborative project, you know. Clues in the name, you've got to collaborate. Mm -hmm. The guys tell me they haven't seen much of you on this project. When did they tell you that? On the tutorial yesterday. You weren't there. You were supposed to be. Where uh, were you? I had a cold. <sighs> all right, all right. Look, you've been to the doctors this year. You haven't been to a single tutorial. You don't write, you don't call. <sighs> the guys tell me this is the first studio you've attended. That is not true. Not true at all. Well, I guess they must be wrong then. Anyway, about this project. How do you feel about it? What does it mean to you? Well, it's about Hats and Margaret. You know, the, um, the artist and stuff. Anyway, if you've been spending so much time with my team, what does it mean to you? What it means to me is a very good exploration of Andy Warhol's early period where he painted shoes. You know, Warhol and stuff shoes and stuff. What it means to me is that you've had no involvement in this project at all this year and you've left your team to fight on a man down and stuff. Now, K Bill Caleb or whatever it is they call you, you're missing one important fact here. I've got an unconditional for my masters at Cambridge. I don't need no proxy hats, shoes, no no mark loser tutors, just the dreaming spires. I think you find the dreaming spires are in Oxford and not Cambridge. Whatever, you'll only dream of going places like that. I don't need your course. I can fail and still go. Actually, that's not quite the case. Monkshood College wrote to me this morning asking about your progress. They also forwarded me a copy of your unconditional letter, which you'll find is not actually unconditional, it's- Yes, it is. They gave me a guaranteed place so I can develop my final year work. It's unconditional on achieving any class of degree. Yes, but you must still get a degree. It's only class of honours that is unconditional. Well, sort of, I guess, but I'm doing fashion. No one leaves without a degree. It just doesn't happen. Monkshood College also wrote to me this morning asking for an academic reference, which of course I have to provide, honestly. I noted your attendance at lectures, studios and tutorials, all of which for year three are zero. Apart from the one this morning where you still couldn't tell the difference between a hat and a shoe. But luckily for you, that was too late to include. Anyway, they've given me this letter. I've read that. We are delighted to write to you noting that we are able to offer you an exhibition bursary to assist with your Masters of Philosophy at Monkshood College. Yours in academia, Professor John Evans. There. Unconditional and a bursary. I think you should read again from You Will Understand. You will understand that acceptance of the exhibition or bursary is a condition of you joining the college and that we can only offer such a bursary to students achieving first class honours. Yes, to get the offer you must get the exhibition bursary. To get the exhibition bursary you must get a first. Now let's see. If you get full marks on Friday's assessment and then also full marks on all the other modules on this course, unlikely, you might get a tutu. So I'd stuff your dreaming spies if I were you. I'll be married by then anyway. And these dreams are inside of me of a global